hello and welcome back to my channel today I'm going to talk you through my keto food list for beginners all kinds of foods to stock your kitchen your pantry your fridge with to be able to have success and have mix and match loads of meals and as always I've written a blog post which I'll leave down below which actually has a full shopping list as well as loads of recipes and meal ideas for beginners so click through for that and be sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos comment to let me know if you've got any other beginners tips to add or anything else you'd like me to share in this keto for beginners series so let's start on the left over here with vegetables i have got broccoli and mushrooms out really keep it simple have a look at the low carb fruit and vegetables list which i'll which is in the blog post down below just pick a couple and i try and aim to have at least one a meal so i might have mushrooms on the side with breakfast and then some sort of broccoli salad or broccoli on the side for lunch and then maybe also some spinach at dinner and that's good three veggies that i've had high in fiber just full of different nutrients and i try and rotate through them as well but my favorites really are spinach mushrooms and broccoli and you'll find that your protein makeup is roughly similar than on a normal diet. So, yep, I just make sure I'm stock up, stocked up with eggs and I'll have eggs for breakfast. I might have a tuna salad for lunch, so make sure I've always got tuna in the cupboard. And then for dinner, I might make a low-carb version of spaghetti bolognese. So you've got your beef mince. I might make a cheesy chicken bake or even have an indulgent steak with mushroom sauce so yeah loads of really easy keto meals and for beginners just keep it simple as I said pick a couple pick a couple of meals that you like from the blog post which I'll leave down below uh, for dinners so yep uh, for protein here just to show you I've got my eggs and tuna which I always keep to hand and cheese I've always got loads of options of cheese and I might have some cheese on the side with breakfast <laughs> lunch and dinner I'll have a few different options but I've just got this plain cheddar cheese over here as just an example of cheese to always keep to hand and other dairies that I love <laughs> butter I've always got butter unsalted and salted butter in the fridge for a variety variety of reasons for cooking for just yeah it's just perfect to have lots of different lots of butter in the fridge and cream I've got double cream here but also keep pouring cream single cream whipping cream whichever cream you like that I'll either mix in hot chocolates or I'll have in nice desserts loads of young ways to include cream in a keto diet and milk I've got unsalted un unsalted unsweetened almond milk and I keep this to have hot chocolates or use in smoothies so yep always having almond milk just make sure you read the nutritional panel carefully go for unsweetened without any carbs sugars or fillers added but yeah, that's my milk. I keep that always in the fridge. And I've got creme fraiche here. It's really just fancy sour cream. The grocery store I went to was all out of sour cream. So I got creme fraiche instead, which I just love a dollop of it on the side of meals. Have maybe just fried eggs and some veggies for breakfast. Add a dollop of sour cream. It just helps to elevate the fat content and helps you to meet your macros. So, and it's yum too. And I usually use coconut oil for frying. This one I get actually from Aldi. So yeah, definitely check out Aldi. You can find most of this at Aldi and it's more budget friendly if that's what you're into. And yeah, coconut oil I just always use for cooking. Some people like adding coconut oil into coffees and having bulletproof coffees it is up to you. But yeah, I've always got my coconut oil. And nuts and seed make a lovely snack. Pine nuts and macadamia nuts actually have the perfect keto macros. So if you want a snack which just absolutely helps you meet your macros and are just low carb, high fat, full of fiber, pine nuts and macadamia nuts are what you want to go for. But I've also got pumpkin seeds that I might just throw over some low carb friendly yogurt or just have as a snack make my own trail mix with a couple of low carb keto friendly nuts and seeds and coconut flour now initially you might want to go out and buy all of the keto ingredients but just keep it simple I just find coconut flour I've got this enormous bag that I got from in Ireland it's called TK Maxx but it's TJ Maxx I believe in America but yeah I got this enormous bag of coconut flour which lasts for ages you might also check out Amazon maybe find coconut flour there as well but this coconut flour I made my bread I shared a little while ago you could make brown pancakes waffles there's so many things as long as you've got organic well not organic as long as you've got any 
coconut flour, then you can make loads of keto friendly goodies with it. And stevia too, I like to keep stevia to hand to sweeten, that's my sweetener of choice. I went through a few different ones to find one I like and I just keep buying the same one because it's the one that agrees with me. Some have an aftertaste, some might have, uh, might not agree with you, so just try and sample but take your time. I, you might also find that some things are sweet enough and might not need much or any stevia or sweetness added. And I quite like peppermint teas as a treat, as a sweet as well, as a snack, I should say. Um, so tea, coffee, um, peppermint teas, herbal teas, keep those to hand as well. They're really useful for having as a snack. And I just, yeah, love peppermint tea. And coconut milk, lovely for adding into smoothies, to hot chocolates, to make keto-friendly curries or Alfredo. It's just so perfect to keep them to hand. Have cans of coconut milk and you can make loads of different meals. And it, it's low in carb, high in fat and just perfect keto. And finally, chocolate. Yep, I love still having chocolate on a keto diet. These are from Aldi. It's 85% dark chocolate from Aldi, 85%, 90%. If you're game enough to try 100% unsweetened, then you can go for that. I find this doesn't need any sweetness. And one little block, one little row is the perfect snack. I might melt it into a hot chocolate as well, is, is what I often do with chocolate. But yeah, that is kind of my quick, short and sweet, simple list of foods to kind of stock your pantry with if you're new to the keto diet some meal ideas along the way too and remember to check down below for the link to the blog post which has loads more ideas for easy keto keto meals so click through for that and be sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos comment too let me know if you've got any tips for beginners or if you want any me to share any future videos i look forward to reading your comments so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye.